What's going on everybody? Welcome back to some more My Hero Academia Ultra Impact and today is the day that the game is finally nearing its release because people are reporting and showing that they have been able to pre-download My Hero Academia Ultra Impact on their iOS devices and I assume Android will be following shortly but I will post a video about Android in the future as well so stay tuned for that video but people are now able to pre-download and pre-install the game and we have a service go live release date for the game and it's super exciting because this game is just so much fun and I've been excited to be able to play this game here on the channel but the release date is just hours, just hours short, just a little ways away, it's at a grasp, you can reach for it but yes, the preloads are coming and it's just super exciting, man. I'm, I'm just so excited right now. But as you can see on screen, this iOS user has been able to pre-download Ultra Impact. If you can see here, this is the game icon right there. They've preloaded to iOS. I don't know about Android. At the time I'm recording this video, I can't actually preload on Android at the current moment. It still says pre-register, uh, but I imagine that Android should follow suit soon as well because on the Google Play Store for that game, it does have it to where they did list and update the information May 18th, 2021, the size of the APK being 57 megabytes, current version 1.0.0. So the game is coming. It is all, it is right there. I can taste it. We can see it coming, guys. Oh, my Hero Academia Ultra Impact is coming, but we do have an update for you. And there is a maintenance screen. So if you do happen to preload this game, if you're one of the lucky few currently that are able to preload on iOS and eventually Android as well before the actual game servers go live, you'll get this maintenance screen saying pretty much that we are currently making final touches. Service will start on 519, 3 p.m. JST. Obviously convert that to what you will, but 20... 21 519 May 19th 2021 at 1500 which is actually 3 p.m. Uh, JST here the servers of the game will finally go live and we will finally be able to play My Hero Academia Ultra Impact and that is going to be so much fun and I can't wait to dive into this game with you guys I am so I'm like I am still just shaking from pure happiness and excitement guys it's just going to be so much fun also, My Hero Academia, the strongest hero, happened to be releasing their EU version earlier tonight as well. So two My Hero games being merged and summoned upon for players to pre-download and everything like that. I will have a video on the My Hero Academia, the strongest hero preload as well uh, in the future as well. So stay tuned for that video. But you're able to preload My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. I imagine that you'll be able to do it on Google uh, here shortly again it still says register for me I don't know why it still says register to be honest um, but I mean, I mean I imagine that it will actually be able to uh, be preloaded on Google here in, in this near future right so let's let me actually show you guys that it actually does show a uh, pre-register here ultra impact pre-register I can't actually load it oh I can't actually download it on my uh, my my Android device currently but it does only show that it that right there. But people are downloading an iOS. I'll have a how to download video for Google, not iOS, because I don't own an iOS device. So I can't really tell you guys how to do it on iOS, but I'll try my best to maybe do an iOS video in the future for you guys if you really want me to. But Google Play, again, you can still pre-register for it if you have a Japanese Google Play account or you can wait for Ku app to have it. Or if you have a Japanese iTunes account, you can get it on JP iOS as well. That way to be able to preload the game right now, apparently. But man, 519. I mean, it was a day off, right? So my speculation video on the release date teaser was saying that it would come out 520, 2021. Now, obviously, you could take that video with a grain of salt. But now it is like, I mean, I was the day, it was a day off. I was this is a day earlier than 520. Who knows? Maybe they did actually intend it to release on 520. I don't know, something like that. But it's going to be available. The servers will go live 5-19-2021, and that's going to be super, super exciting. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this because, I don't know, if you guys are on iOS, are you able to preload the game currently right now? Are you not able to preload it? If you're on Android, let me know as well. Have you been able to preload it? Uh, when the game does go live on Google Play, I will post a download link and a how-to install video and stuff like that for Google Play users once the Google Play version is out. I know a lot of people don't want to actually register with a Japanese Google Play account, so I will help you guys out by 
posting a download link for the APK or hopefully Ku app should have it by the time I try to do that video probably. Uh, but either way, I'll definitely help you guys out on Google with getting the game. Uh, I don't have an iOS device, like I said, so I can't really do much for you guys. But like I said, if you want to get JP, the JP version of My Hero Academia Ultra Impact, make sure to j create a Japanese iTunes account. I believe you might need a VPN. I'm not actually sure. Uh, and you can download it that way on the JP iOS store. But yeah, it's it's coming, man, as it says as a rough translation. But service will start 519 3 p.m. JST. I am so happy that we don't have to wait till June 15th, man. I'm so freaking ecstatic that we don't have to wait till June. Because if we had to wait till June, I thought I would go nuts. But we did have My Hero Academia, the strongest hero kind of coming out and stuff. So I would have been able to fill the void a little bit. But just being able to be able to play this game just in under a few hours is going to be absolutely amazing. And it's currently what it's currently 518 right now. So we got well, like a little uh, over a day or a little less than a day until we can finally play this game. Let me know if you guys are excited for it. I know I am pretty freaking excited for my hero academia ultra impact. I mean, <laughs> Mineta was the last character revealed for the game. He's like the last go to one and they just kind of dropped it. Like the Twitter didn't say anything. As far as I'm aware, there's no tweet. There's no, you know, it's saying like, hey, this game is going to be available for preload, right? There's like nothing on the Twitter as far as I'm aware. Let me take a little peek right now. And yeah, no, nothing on the Twitter currently. It's literally just Mineta just chilling there as the last tweet they did two days ago. And I thought it was odd. I thought it was very, very odd because usually after the anime on Sunday, they generally have a reveal tweet that they do on Sundays at around 11 or 5 a.m. I think it's 11 or 5. They they alternate between the two, 11 and 5, 11 p.m. EST and 5 a.m. EST is when they generally alternate the reveals. Uh, but yeah, usually on Sundays we have a reveal starting off the week and we did not get one. And I'm sitting here like, that's odd. We didn't get a release. Maybe they're trying to change up the release schedule just a little bit, something like that, maybe. Or maybe the game is finally nearing its release. And, you know, I mean... Obviously, we've had this like little campaign here. They had these little tweets here, 520. That's there's a tweet right there, right? We have Grand Torino, All for One. As soon as All for One came out, I was like, you know, they can't put out anything else right away, right? They 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 most likely can't. I mean, they did Grand Torino and Mineta, which are pretty, you know, they're okay characters, but they're not like super super hype, right? But All for One being hype, being the last main probably UR character that they did reveal, which is awesome. And I just can't wait for more character reveals, honestly, from this game. As we play and, you know, enjoy this game, more character reveals are going to be super fun and super awesome to go for. If you guys do want more news, gameplay, showcases, everything, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel right now. Turn on notifications by smacking that bell. That way you're missing any future videos. If you guys are hyped, let me know if you're able to preload the game on iOS or Android down in the comments down below. And again, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.